Good morning and welcome to another episode here on New Scotland Fishing Adventures. I'm William as always. We got Olive here in the background and we are at a special place again this fall. We're up at the Marguerite in Cape Breton. Um, it is October. Today is the first. No, today is the second. <laughs> I'm standing outside of the Dancing Goat. This place is super popular. Head on in here if you're if you're in the region. They it's a cafe. They do awesome breakfasts at great prices. They have all kinds of knickknacks in there: cinnamon uh, uh, rolls, muffins, anything you can imagine. Cakes. The porridge bread is to die for. Uh, the maritime brown bread. Oh my goodness! If you guys come here and you're wanting to taste really good maritime brown bread where it just oh it's it just melts in your mouth it's so good you can't have just one of these loaves it is that good um, I stop in here all the time if you got dogs they're friendly with dogs they've got all kinds of water bowls and places for you to uh, to snack and stuff like that with your animals outside they've got porches it's fantastic so come on out here it's right on the Cabot Trail uh, smack dab in the middle of the lower section of the uh, the river and the upper section of the river and so it's the most ideal location for getting your your hunger on okay um, but basically what's gonna happen is we're gonna head up to tent pool and we're gonna freaking check out the uh, the what's available for us it's after Fiona so everything's stirred up and uh, Hopefully we'll get our fish on. All right, guys.
So today, my goal is I'm gonna start at Chance, because actually people at the next run down, people were having luck there yesterday hooking up. So no lands yesterday in this region, and a lot of us were talking and lots of people were, were either hooking up, getting nibbles, and uh, or at least seeing breaches. I physically saw one and it, uh, it broke the water line, probably a good six inches. And it's nice to see that. It's nice to know that they're in here. We're not just casting for nothing. Yeah, what do you think? What do you think? Yeah, yeah. That is such a sweet smell. I love the smell. I love it so much. I've got it all throughout my house. Uh, my wife and I just, oh my God, the smell of spruce trees. When I come across a good patch of spruce trees, the smell, it's one thing you don't get with the video. I'm sorry, I'd love to share this with you. Walking through here is, oh, it's a nice way to spend the morning just on the way out to do something that you love to do. Holy smokes. We're walking through this beautiful region, uh, this nice single track trail. Um, to get to the bottom of tent, once again, I love this walk. It's about a kilometer, uh, windy and stuff like that. And it's worth it. Tent is such a beautiful run. They're holding at Bridge Pool by Port Tree Bridge and uh, moving up through Chance and then they're holding a the tent, moving up into Black Rock, holding about two runs above Black Rock. And uh, basically, that's how they progress. Whoa! Woo -hoo -hoo! I almost blew a tire. <laughs> it's all good. I don't have my studs on because you don't need studs here right now. We're not walking on murky rocks, but we are coming out to the bottom of tent. Get some people out. It's a great spot. <clears throat> so what we're gonna do, actually right now, is we're gonna find a section here across the top of Chance, and we're gonna cross over onto the other bank. And uh, the top of Chance is the top of that bank, just over there. Come on, girl. great opportunity um, to just have fun, relax, and take a chance on the run. <laughs> All right, guys. So the fly I'm going with right now looks like this guy. I hope that focuses for you. Um, I don't know the name of it.
beautiful. How are you? You good? Hey guys, so Olive's informing me right now that it's supper time. We've been on the river for a good six hours here doing this run, just taking our time. I did a couple uh, uh, runs actually and I some filming inter intermittently uh, in order to put this video together for you. So I hope you enjoy it. It's a great spot to actually capture the river alone uh, because I don't believe that a lot of people uh, risk the idea, especially during high water in the spring and stuff. Um, to cross the river in order to come down here and get a section by the self. I imagine a lot of the locals do because they know the conditions. So I encourage you and challenge you if you do come to this river, come on out here, get outside of those popular spots and hit up um, your own section, your own section of river. We got skunk today with regards to salmon. I know for a fact 100% I got a bite uh, basically up in the upper section of this run. That was it was a good tug and uh, you know, just a quick bite and release. A lot of the time the salmon will do that. They won't, uh, especially because your, your fly is drifting in front of their face. So they'll take a bite and then they'll just quickly release. And it's a tease and that's what they do. And that's what keeps us coming back to these spots. So I hope you do come back. I hope you come back to the channel and continue to watch. If you haven't, please subscribe, hit that like button and notification bell. That way you can get prompted whenever I put up regular uploads. I've got an idea up here already for tomorrow. I think I might head up uh, river a little bit and continue exploring. All right, guys, until then, hopefully for you guys, oh, tight lines. That's a good girl. The top brought me to my bag so I didn't forget anything. Yeah, good girl.